Facebook Group Marketing. One of the most powerful ways to market on Facebook is through its group feature. Considering what's been going on with Facebook's algorithm for its Facebook pages, it's a good idea to have your own Facebook group as a backup. Although Facebook has been cutting back on the organic traffic it sends Facebook pages, it's still worth it to have a page because you get audience insights from it. Another great benefit of having a page is the fact that you can copy and paste content from that page to Facebook groups. When people see your content in a group, they not only see the content, but they can also see a like button. When they click that like button, you get a new Facebook page fan. The key benefit of having a Facebook group lies in visibility. Facebook has made it clear that they are tweaking their Facebook page to reward actual engagement. Apparently, Facebook groups are not as suppressed as Facebook pages. In terms of visibility, you stand to reach more of your group members than with the page. The problem with Facebook groups. While the visibility for a lot of people is quite good for Facebook groups, it depends on activity. If the individual group member is not all that active in your group, maybe the person isn't liking or commenting, they're not going to get as many notifications on their Facebook update section than somebody who is active. This is a big drawback. The vast majority of people who would join your own Facebook group are not going to be active. They're just there to read information. They're just there to sit back and check out what you have to offer. Here's how you promote using your own FB group. Create your own groups after your page is mature. The first thing that you need to know is that you should put up your Facebook group only after your page is matured. You want to know who your audience is on Facebook. You're not going to know that until you have a page up. Pay attention to the audience insights. The data set that you would get from that analytics portion of your Facebook management dashboard will let you know who to target. Once you have enough users, and this depends on your niche, you should then put up your group. Your group must be as identical as possible to your page. If you have a logo, put the same logo there. If you have some sort of motto, put the same motto or slogan there. The key here is to use your Facebook group as an extension of the brand that you're creating with your Facebook fan page. Give your group members a reason for coming back. This, of course, means original content or freshly curated content that you don't show on your Facebook fan page. You have to give people a reason for following you on as many different places on Facebook as possible. This, of course, boils down to premium content. Market to other groups. This is the most important part of Facebook group marketing, because if you were to just build your own group as a supplemental source of traffic for your page, you're probably not going to grow all that much. You have to go to other groups which have already done a good job attracting the eyeballs that you want to attract. There has to be a tight fit between these groups and your niche. Go to those places and become a credible poster. This means that you should refrain from just dumping the same content that you have on your page to these groups. Invest time in them to become a local expert or a credible authority. It doesn't take much. If you're the first person to always comment and your comments are always insightful or bring new information to the table, people sit up and pay attention. People can see that you are an asset to the community and they are more likely to give you the benefit of the doubt when you share content that obviously comes from your page. Once you have established credibility, share your own page content. As I've mentioned above, these posts not only have content in your brand, but also a like button. This is a great way of getting page fans. Always engage. When people comment on what you post, reply. They might be haters, they might be critics, but it doesn't matter, reply anyway. This conditions the mind of your readers that you are approachable, accessible, and you actually want to help people out. If you just drop a link and take off immediately, you're a spammer. You're not a community member. You're obviously not somebody who's there to add to people's knowledge and bring value to their lives. My most important tip. After sharing high-quality third-party content that you do not share on your page in groups, pay close attention to your page's audience insight. Find your most popular piece of content. Look for third-party content that is similar to that and see if you get a lot of positive engagement when you share that material. If this pans out, then use content from your site that fits the same themes as the tried and proven popular content on the Facebook groups that you're in and use those to get page likes.